Good afternoon everyone. Got the uh, Massey Ferguson in bits. Massey Ferguson 35. Um, so yesterday uh, my dad was here. We were getting uh, Massey Ferguson 65 going over there. Um, so uh, yeah we were doing that and then he helped me um, work on this tractor for a while. Uh, I've put new bearings in this uh, hub and I had uh, there's also a bearing that's in the bottom of here so I'll show you on the other side what it looks like so that's that's it all together and there's a bearing in the bottom and in, in that little um, flared piece so on the other side it was shagged <laughs> I um, was gonna put a bearing in it and we did actually stick a bearing in it so this is the bearing that would normally be in the bottom uh, it would be pressed into there but as you can see the um, the ball it looks like the ball bearing race is still in there but it's so mangled uh, we haven't even attempted getting it out because it looks like it's welded. It looks like it's welded in there. Um, and on the so this is the the spindle, and you can see around there, um, it's just worn away. The stoppers, see the stoppers on the. There's a stopper there. It's just ground them right down. So. Um, taking these apart and I'm taking those two bits to Hopu Hopu Engineering or Track Desert in Hopu Hopu which is between Narawahia and Taupri and we're going to get a second hand one of those either a new or second hand one spindle and uh, and uh, get this repaired so all I'm doing this afternoon is uh, pulling this side here apart and I think this side here um, it looks like it's alright like the doesn't look like it's worn the bearings out well they're loose but the stoppers are, look alright so hopefully there's no damage major damage done to the bearing carrier and uh, we'll uh, be able to pop it out and put a new one in and I'm going to do the wheel bearings on this hub I'm going to get a new stud and nut. So yeah, I've got all this side, this side's all loosened off to pull apart. I've taken the bumper off. Here's the bumper, bumper come across the front there. So yeah, that's the plan. So you can uh, help me pull this side apart. Right, so I've knocked out the, the first bearing race. Now I'm going to knock out the the second one, again there's a, a little slot on each side where you can get your chisel in to whack them out. So I just, you see how messy it is, not my favourite job. So I use my finger on the bottom to find where it is and then just give it a good whack and then go to the other side. Other side. I think it's going down. That's it. There it is. Another bearing race. I've uh, loosened off both sides uh, so I can get to the nut to get the uh, the hub off. So it'll make it a bit easier rather than trying to have to hold the hub still while you undo it. So when you're undoing wheel nuts, it's definitely a lot easier to undo them when the wheel's on the ground. So 
So there we have the uh, the steering arm off. Keep it on there like that. You can see the keyway just there. Um, so now I've got to get that keyway out. And that took a bit of getting out of the last one. Just been in there for so many years. Uh, and then that spindle will drop out the bottom. And should get easier after that, hopefully. Right, so now we're going to insert the, the bearing race. So this is the new one. Just sit it down in there. And I've got a punch, which I actually, it's a nail punch, but I ground it so it's flat on the end. So that when you punched on here, it was the surface of the punch. You didn't end up with a little, because um, the nail punch has a, ho a hollow in the middle. Going down evenly. So I just work my way around the edge. So now when we pack the bearings, I'm going to use this grease. It's just, <laughs> it's just what I've got. It's nothing special. Again, this is the first time I've uh, actually had to pack bearings, so I'm assuming this is how you do it. It's just making sure you're getting grease into the bearings. As you can see, it's pretty messy. And when you think you've got enough in there, just Set it in there. What a mess. When I do a job, I tend to make a mess because I just get in and do it. Don't really think about it too much. <laughs> that sounds bad. Pop the seal in there. Tap it down. Feels a lot tighter than that. If it's going to be getting it straight, hey, when we put it back on. We need to get two of those. Two of those? We're going to get two of these here. Hey Ezra. Get two of these? No? <laughs> Come on. 